Hey guys, it's Alex here, Tops here, and today I'm going to be doing another one of my uh, dinosaur model reviews. And this one is going to be on the Batat Terra repaints of the uh, Batat Euplocephalus. I believe that Batat, uh, the original line, uh, was released in the 90s, in the early 2000s. I'm not sure, <laughs> though, I don't, I don't have too much information on the... Batat line itself, but I do know that the Batat line was cancelled and then re-released by Batat in the Batat Terra line. Uh, in all, almost all the dinosaurs are going to be re-released re with a different repaint, and this is one of them. This is the Euplocephalus, and I'm going to be doing a review on it. Now, first, I'm going to go over the color scheme. The top part with on top of the armor. And around the plates, a little bit on the legs, and a little bit on the side of the model, is sort of a dark bluish color, a navy blue almost. And then the bottom side is a tannish orange color, but it's uh, mostly tan. And to me, it seems like it would be a, a little bit more realistic in color-wise if the blue was replaced with like a greenish hue for camouflage. But you never know. I mean, lots of animals today have crazy colors that seem like they wouldn't help at all with camouflage. And this dinosaur might be the, might be one of those cases. And then, of course, one of the first things you'll notice about this model is all of the spikes on top of its armor. And you can see it starts on the head with two above the eyes and then two below the cheeks or on the cheeks. Then it has more along the neck, on top of the neck, and a flat or plate right there. Two large ones right here uh, on the shoulders, and then two more large ones right there, and then it just goes with rows of uh, small <coughs> spikes until we get to the tail where there's some larger ones, but then it goes to the club bone, which would have been the club plus a little bit of bone right there. <coughs> so they did a pretty good job of the spikes. Oh yeah, there are also some on the arm as well. And then it, you can see it is in a pose where it sort of seems like it's turning around. It's sort of uh, getting ready to face off against some predator, getting its tail ready to hit, and getting its uh, arms ready in a protected position so the spikes can cover. Um, I, I sort of like how uh, they made it really wide, and that's very accurate because I, the ankylosaurus would have been uh, some of the widest dinosaurs out there. They also made it appropriately chunky around the legs and uh, the underside of the belly. And you can see lots of wrinkles and skin folds um, along the belly and the uh, hind legs. Now you can see the paint used on it is really shiny. And that does sort of take away from the realism of it, but I, it, like, it takes away from the realism, but I don't think it takes away from the quality. Honestly, I don't really mind the shininess that much. I think all that matters is the sculpt and the paint colors, maybe not the how shiny the paint is. Now, as for the size of the model, it's a pretty decent size, about average for most dinosaurs, but I'll show, um... <clears throat> a couple Papo dinosaurs next to it for comparison. First, we have the Papo Dilophosaurus. You can see they're pretty much the same size, but maybe not in uh, general <coughs> sturdiness. And then we also have the Papo Spinosaurus right here. <clears throat> and you can see it is much larger. That's, well, that's because the Papo Spinosaurus is a large model in itself. Now, overall, I think this is a really well-made model, and I like the paint job, and I think that they uh, really captured the uh, realism of this animal in this model. I think that I, if I saw this as an actual animal walking about in the woods, it would convince me as a real animal. Like, it just, I'd, I'd think that, I think the main feature that really does it for me is how wide it is. I mean, it just seems like an actual ankylosaur, not just like a lizard with spikes and plates on it, you know? So yeah, I really like this model, and I would advise getting it if you have $8 on your hands. 
So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave suggestions in the comments for more dinosaur model reviews that I could do. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.